Hello there Earthlings, my name's Earth to Lydia, a very boosted survivor main. Today I'm going to be adding another installment of the Should You Buy series, this time on Kate Denson. For those of you who don't know what this series is, something that I frequently get asked by new players is whether or not they should buy a particular character, and it's really quite hard to answer it because it totally depends on your playstyle and what you want from the DLC. So in this series I try my best to go over each of the selling points of the character and then at the end we deduce what type of player they're best suited to. Anyway, let's get into the video. So first thing that we're going to go over with Kate is her character model. With Kate's default cosmetics she's pretty much always got a lot of skin on show and as she has a very pale complexion that makes it a little harder for her to blend in on the likes of Macmillan or Yamaoka Estate but works out much better on Mount Ormond or even Coldwind Farm. Having said that, like most of the other female survivors in the game she's very petite which makes it easier for her to hide behind objects. She's also one of the quietest survivors in the game making her a little harder to trace when injured so if you don't have Off the Record or Ryan Will you could probably get away with hiding a little closer to the killer than most characters would. Next up we have her teachable perks. At level 30 in Kate's Blood Web you're able to unlock Dance With Me. When fast vaulting a window or pallet or performing a fast action out of a locker, Dance With Me will activate and remove any scratch marks that you would normally leave for 3 seconds, but it's then on a cooldown for up to 60 seconds. Head with head on or live, usually this will incapacitate the killer or break you out into a sprint for long enough to usually escape the chase without being seen. Generally speaking I think you could get the best use out of this when you have slightly more game knowledge and better perks to pair it with, but could be better beneficial at all ranks. Next up at level 35 we unlock Windows of Opportunity, which is a perk that I would highly recommend to beginners. Windows reveals the auras of pallets, breakable walls and windows within a 20 meter radius and then goes on cooldown for up to 30 seconds when fast vaulting or dropping a pallet in a chase. If you're unfamiliar with map layouts and want to learn them a little bit better then this perk acts as a helping hand. Or even when a new map is released this perk can be really beneficial even to experienced players to help familiarise them with the layout. Unfortunately for Kate, the teachable that you unlock at level 40 is not one that I'd recommend to a majority of the player base. At level 40 we unlock Boil Over. This perk claims to increase your struggling effects when wiggling on the killer's shoulder by 25, 50 or 75 percent if you've got it fully tiered up. However, in all honesty, when I've played as killer against this perk I see little to no difference in getting the survivor to a hook. I think I can generalize that for most killers as well, as unless the hook was super far away from where the survivor was downed you don't need to do much to counter this tiny bit of extra wiggling. And usually if you escape from the killer's shoulder it's more than likely due to the distance to the hook rather than this perk. I have heard that it works okay on console but I haven't actually tried that out myself so I can't verify that information. So do I believe that Kate is better suited to newer or more experienced players? I think Kate's biggest selling point is the fact that she's so small and also quiet making her a really suitable character for newer players to main and you even get a slight advantage even when you've got all perks unlocked in her. Also Windows is the perk I would say is the most useful out of hers as it is so consistent. As mentioned some aspects of a kit are useful at all levels but generally speaking I think she's a really strong candidate if you've just gotten into the game and don't know which DLC to buy first. So newer players drop your Oryx cells on Kate, I can guarantee you won't regret it. Thank you guys again for making it this far into another video, I do appreciate you all hanging out for this long. If you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and comment telling me which survivor that you want me to cover next in this series. I've had a lot of people suggesting Adam so I think that he might be the next one if anyone's still interested in learning about him but if you do have alternatives I want to hear those as well. Also if you're interested in all of my other social medias including the link to my discord server then they are all linked in the description below. We're a really friendly community and would love to welcome you in. But that's about it for today's video so once again I have been Earth to Lydia and until next time see you guys.